Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Every year, I give a prediction on what team I think is going to surprise everybody the upcoming year. And last year, that team for me was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That was before they got Brady and Gronk. I thought they were going to be a playoff team. And then when Tom Brady went there, I said, okay, now they are going to win the Super Bowl, and I said that in about March. So I, I've been sticking by that for the for the entire year, and it did come into fruition. Then two years before that, I said the Chicago Bears were going to be a sleeper team, and then the following year they went 12 and four. And now this year, the sleeper team for me is the Minnesota Vikings. I think they are going to have a really great season next year. Uh, this past season, they went 7-9. and nine. They had the 11th-ranked offense, so their offense was really good. But they had the 29th-ranked defense, and that's not something we really tend to see from a Mike Zimmer-led defense because say what you want about Mike Zimmer's clock management, but on defense, he is really good. So it was really shocking that they finished with the 29th-ranked defense, and they went 7-9, and nine, but four games they lost by one score or less, and two games they lost by one point. So if one, if some of those games went the other way, they could have easily been a 10 or 11-win team. But coming into the offseason, this upcoming offseason, they had a couple of needs. They needed to shore up that cornerback position. They needed to replace Anthony Harris at free safety. And they needed to get a defensive tackle to pair up with Michael Pierce and also sign another outside linebacker. And the offensive line was also one of their biggest needs. But in corner at cornerback, they signed Patrick Peterson, who's still a very good corner. They signed Mackenzie Alexander, who is a really good slot corner and already played under Mike Zimmer, so he's familiar with the system. Then at defensive tackle, they signed Dalvin Tomlinson, who's a really good run stuffer. At free safety, they got Xavier Woods, who's still a young player who has a ton of potential. And they also signed Nick Vigil, an outside linebacker from the Chargers. So because of that, I think those moves were really good. And they're also going to have returning players. Last year, Michael Pierce opted out of the season because of COVID. Daniil Hunter didn't play the entire year because he got injured. And Anthony Barr only played four games and he was out with injury as well. So was Mike Hughes, one of their younger cornerbacks. So they had a lot of injuries. They, they were the void of talent last year on defense, but their defense this upcoming season is going to feature Daniil Hunter, Dalvin Tomlinson, Michael Pierce, DJ Wanham, Nick Vigil, Eric Kendricks, Anthony Barr, Patrick Peterson, Cameron Dantzler, Mackenzie Alexander, Xavier Woods, and Harrison Smith. I think that's a top 15 defense. It's a lock to be a top 15 defense. I wouldn't be surprised if they have a top 10 or top 5 defense. That's how talented this group is right now. Their defense was ranked 29th last year, but they are going to take a huge jump this upcoming season. And their offense is going to be fine. They still have Kirk, they still have Kirk Cousins, who had a very great year last year. Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, Irv Smith Jr. And their offensive line does need help. I think they will address that in the draft. But they already have three key guys in Garrett Bradbury, Ezra Cleveland, who's going to move back to tackle, and Brian O'Neill, who's at that right tackle spot. So they need to get a guard in the draft, and I think they will get a guard. So the, the draft should be all about getting a guard and also, I would say getting a third wide receiver. This is a very wide receiver heavy draft. They can get one in the later rounds. But my pick for the Vikings to get in the draft would be Elijah Vera Tucker. He can play guard and tackle. It would be a perfect fit. So with the top 15 offense and a top 15 defense, I think the Minnesota Vikings are a lock to make the playoffs next season. And I am picking them as my surprise team for the upcoming season. But if Mike Zimmer can turn this Vikings defense, not, not just the top 15 defense, but if this Vikings defense can be a top 10 or even a top five or top eight defense in the league, I think that they will win the NFC North. When you look at the Packers, I think the Packers are in a weird spot because, yes, they still have Aaron Rodgers, but there is a bunch of question marks around that organization. The Chicago Bears 
aren't doing anything. The Detroit Lions are in complete rebuild. So it's really between the Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. And for next season, I'm going with the Minnesota Vikings because I just think there are less question marks about them when it comes to their future and positions of needs because the Packers, they still haven't got a linebacker, so they won't be good in the run game again. They transitioned to a new defensive coordinator, so who knows how good he's going to be. The Vikings pretty much got everything figured out, and because of that, I think that they're going to make the playoffs. They're a lot to make the playoffs, but I'm also saying that they will win the NFC North next season. The only question marks they have, of course, are the offensive line and injury concerns. We have to see if Daniil Hunter stays healthy and Dalvin Cook. There's always an injury concern with him, but if barring injury, they will make the playoffs and they will win the NFC North Overall, I feel really good about the Vikings going into next season. And remember, two years ago, I picked the Chicago Bears to be my sleeper team, and they went 12-4. and Last year, I picked the Buccaneers to win the Super Bowl, and they did indeed win the Super Bowl. And this year, I'm picking the Minnesota Vikings as my sleeper team to make the playoffs and to win the NFC North. North. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think the Minnesota Vikings will win the NFC North next season? If not, who is it going to be? The Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers. We know the Lions aren't going to win it, but let me know your take in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.